hey y'all it's the fly natural here and i am back with another video welcome to my channel if you are new and welcome back if you are blah, 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 blah. and welcome back if you are a returning subscriber if you are new and not yet subscribed make sure you join the family hit that subscribe button because i guarantee you gonna like it here unless you have questionable taste because we got good taste over here i don't know what y'all doing over there so if you're hesitant about hitting the subscribe button you might want to check those taste levels just saying anyway <laughs> so today i kind of want to go into a little bit about my pole journey thus far because i'm so excited about it and i thought i'd just go ahead and make a video and let you guys know how i've been doing so far so if you're interested in that stay tuned all right y'all so as you guys know i have started to do pole dance lessons now at this point i am in i've just taken my third class yesterday and my, my body is telling me that i took a pole dance class yesterday actually no my body is telling me that i got hit by a bus yesterday but i don't want to put that out in the atmosphere so my body is definitely telling me that i was doing some activity yesterday because i am sore in places of my body that i haven't felt soreness in in years i am hurting in new places in my body that i didn't know that they were there before and i'm also hurting in places in my body that i didn't even think i could hurt in so it's definitely a lot going on <laughs> but it's a good hurt it's a good hurt it's a it's an accomplished hurt because it's not like i just got all this pain for nothing i'm motivated i actually want to get back on the pole right now so i cannot wait till i move and get into a bigger place so that i can have my own pole because this is addicting it's a rush and i'm having so much fun so far but yeah so i'm three classes in and the first class i actually just fell in love from day one it was really fun they got us all pumped and then they started us out like each class they start us out with a workout song like we do a warm out we do like a warm up to get our muscles going so we do type of like a dance fitness and at first class they put on megan the stallion simon says and i'm like baby this was just a sign from the universe that i'm in the right place because megan the stallion oh that's my baby. I'm a hot girl all day and I cannot wait to see her on tour. Baby, I cannot wait. So, yeah, when they put that on, we did our warm out. I already knew I was going to come back. From that moment, I'm like, yeah, I'm coming back because it's lit over here. And so, that was my first introduction to the pole because that really opened my eyes to a lot. Now, pole is very technical. Pole is very, you know, you have to be able to be in tune with your body because you have to have your body do certain tricks and, and it has to bend a certain way. It has to move a certain way in order for you to do the transitions and the different tricks and things like that. So you have to have this awareness to your body, which I am, you know, I'm 100%, you know, confidently say I don't have that. I don't have that awareness of my body and um i don't think i've talked about this in a video before but i have a little bit of anxiety when it comes to my body so when i went to that first initial pole class it was kind of a little bit nerve-wracking at first when i went in because i didn't have that awareness with my body but as the class progressed and it was just like you were in your own lane even though it was other people in the class with me you really are paying attention to you you are listening to the instructor and you're letting her guide you but you can always look to any side of the room and you're seeing yourself because it's a mirror in front of you it's a mirror on the side of you it's a mirror on the side of you it's a mirror behind you so everywhere you move you're seeing yourself and you have no choice but to become aware of your body but to you know see what you're doing understand what you're doing and that kind of made me more confident because I was like, as the class progressed, I was like seeing myself, I was feeling myself. I started to realize that I'm a bad bitch from every angle, okay? Like that was really geeking up my ego and it was amazing and I had to come back. Now the studio that I went to offered me one of their um, fitness classes for free because I went to the first initial pole dance class. At first, I was really nervous because I didn't know which type of class I wanted. They offer a lot of classes because they kind of put everything surrounded by the pole because it all comes back together. So they have a bunch of different classes. So I ended up going to 
a strip hop class which is basically like a twerk fitness class and it was so much fun and ironically i ended up going to the pole dance class that next week and all of those muscles that we was using and torquing and all of that the week before all of those muscles were nice and loose and limber and it made that second class just that much better that second class I was just in my zone. I wore all red to that class. I had my hair up. I wasn't playing no games. And I even, you know, put some lip gloss on to make myself like extra pretty. Cause that first class I really didn't. That first class I went with I went with all black, which was like my comfort zone. That's my comfort zone. I don't want to be seen type energy type vibe. I put that on and I had my hair up. I was all cute and whatever, but I just was like Oof, in my shell but that second class oh i was ready i was pumped and i was ready to stand out and i was feeling myself i had so much fun that second class we were sitting we were learning the pole sits and we were sitting on the pole and we were doing like the spins and stuff and that's when i realized that i have to really take off my jewelry and i hate it because i wear my um my beaded anklets and some of them are tie-on so they don't come off and I would have to cut off my bracelets in order to continue to do this, which kind of sucks, but you know. And then this last class that I did yesterday, honestly, I feel like I set myself up this last class because I did not, now in between those first couple of classes, I was working out and working out and doing all my stuff and doing, you know. But this last class that I took yesterday, I hadn't worked out in like three days because um, mother nature and I, I'm not getting along right now. <laughs> so I had been tired. And when I went to that last class, I hadn't worked out four days before. And my body was like, girl, you thought you thought you was going to come in here not stretched up and not limber and not working out in three days and thinking you about to, mm-mm. So I did, I was able to have a lot of fun and I was able to do everything. But I feel like if I really had worked out and been super duper, eh, like I was before, like kept that momentum going, it would have actually been a better class. But you know, that's just actually brought more awareness to what I have to do um, to continue my journey. It let me know that I really have to prioritize my, my working out, my diet, and my water intake. I really have to prioritize that if I wanna take my pole journey serious because if I don't work out and I don't eat right and everything, it's just gonna just, have oh it's, it's just gonna make my life a little harder so but so far i am loving pole i am so glad that i finally decided to do it so a lot of y'all know if you've been watching my channel i was like trying to change things in my life and do things in my life that make me happy and pole dancing was something that i really wanted to do because it was just something that i've been wanting to do for years and i am so glad that i did it it's so much fun and i really want to continue the journey and just see how i will transform as a dancer and how my skills will transform and also see what other avenues that i would decide to do with this because i really am excited to see what i can get my body to do with doing this and doing yoga and then my next thing that i think i'm going to do is the ethereal i think that's when you like on the little hoop and you spinning around and doing that and then when you like on the silk like the two silks oh my god i want to do that too oh my god but that's that's just not that's a different day but i am really excited that i decided to do this i'm proud of myself too actually it's crazy how doing pole really just opened my awareness to myself and when I told you it really opened up your awareness to your body because you have to really be aware of what you're doing in order to do the transitions on the pole safely and actually to get them done, it really made me pay attention to a lot of myself just outside of the class too. It just really heightened my awareness. So I'm really paying attention to a lot of different things that I need to work on on myself personally and a lot of things that I need to work on you know in order to improve my pole journey and i'm really proud of myself for doing it because i did it by myself and i didn't have my emotional support human my peanut butter to be there with me i was doing it on my own and i love it I'm really proud of myself for stepping out of my box for stepping out of my shell and actually doing something that i've wanted to do for a long time because you know it's bringing me so much joy and i'm so happy and this is a part of me growing myself as a person and i'm really happy that i decided to do it now i do have a couple of misconceptions that have been thrown out about me doing pole dancing and i will leave that video linked for y'all because i already did a video on that 
you already know that so go ahead and check that out and make sure you leave any comments or questions that you have about my pole journey down below and subscribe to the channel and like the video on your way out and i will catch you guys in the next one